Rakeem Cornwall could make his long-awaited test debut on home soil when West Indies kick off their campaign in the new ICC World Test Championship against India later this month. The 26-year-old Cornwall has taken 260 wickets at 23.90 apiece in 55 first-class matches and has also proven that he is capable or a capable middle to lower order batsman, averaging just under 25 in 97 innings and good enough to have 113 half centuries in the first class arena. West Indies A team captain Sharma Brooks is the only other uncapped player in the squad apart from Cornwall. West Indies and India will play two tests from August 22nd to 26th at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Ground in Cornwall's native Antigua and from August 30th to September 3rd at Sabina Park in Jamaica. Brandon McCollum is in line to take over as the head coach of Trinbago Knight Riders and assist coach at Kolkata Knight Riders following his retirement from all forms of cricket earlier this week. Reports suggest that McCollum has been signed up by the Knight Riders franchise, which owns both teams for at least the upcoming seasons of the CPL and the Indian Premier League. McCollum was expected to play in the Euro T20 Slam from August 30th as an icon player for Glasgow Giants, but announced his retirement, prompting many to believe it was time so he could spearhead the Trinbago Knight Riders' three-peat attempt this year. The CPL starts from September 5th. The Windy's A batsman showed real determination and grit to earn a deserved draw in the third and final unofficial test with India A at the Brian Lara Academy in Taruba. Chasing 373 for a victory on the final day, the Windy's batsman, led by a patient 92 from Jeremy Salozano, batted through to reach 314 for six when stumps were drawn shortly after four o'clock with the hosts 59 runs short of their target. The left-handed Salozano of Queen's Park struck eight fours in his knock and set up the rest of the innings. He got useful support from Brandon King 77 and Sunil Ambri 69 as the Windies came close on the final day. Shabazz Nadim was India's best bowler with five for 103. India clinched a three-match series 2-0 after earlier dominating the one-day series four for one. As expected, Bajan-born all-rounder Jofra Archer has been included in England's squad for the second test with Australia at Lords next week after proving his fitness in recent days. Archer, who was one of the English stars in lifting the recent World Cup, was left out of the first test 11 because of a side strain, which he picked up during the World Cup and was ordered to rest. He proved his readiness with a sterling display with both bat and ball, playing in a second 11 contest in midweek and has been immediately drafted into the test squad. He will most likely make his long-awaited test debut at Lords as Muen Ali has been dropped and Pacer James Anderson pulled up with a calf strain. Australia won the first test at Edgbaston by 2.51 runs, forcing England to also call up left-hander Jack Leach, who will take over the spin duties in Ali's absence.